I wanted to take a couple of minutes to show you what I've been doing with the place. You may have seen the studio tour a few months ago, but a lot of things have changed. Now, you may not notice the back have changed all that much because in reality, it hasn't. I just added a, a shelf back here, but what's in front of me absolutely has, and it's really what's in front of me that's gonna help you as well. So if there's any question on how these things are happening, let me know in the comment section down below. I would love to help you out because I have spent the last week with all of this. Now, I am not a techie person. I'm not a very sophisticated person when it comes to these. So I'm gonna show you and I'm gonna give you even like their serial numbers so you can see what they actually are because I have no earthly clue what some of these things do, how they work together. I just did a lot of digging around, a lot of YouTube videos that helped me out just like this. And not only inspired me, but also gave me the know-how to get things things working where they should. So with that being said, let's get started. We have our camera over here. I'm not, not our camera, my goodness, I'm a little bit better than that. We have our light back here. So I have changed the ring lights to this where I can control the lights a lot better. So just leave that right there. And we have a little sister light over here. It's the exact same light, just raining down on the brand new chair. So that is awesome. That is a change. That's an investment in the channel. So we have lighting. Lighting has changed the foam. I took it down for the purposes of installing the rest of the stuff. So I need to put it back up, but we do have some foam back there. That's going to help with the echoiness. And then we have this bad boy right here. We have a 32 inch monitor hanging up there right above the camera. Now, the reason it's above the camera is because that's going to help me with my notes. So anytime I'm doing a presentation, anytime I'm doing something that, hey, I probably need to reference this before I speak about it, it's right there for me to do. And it's right above the webcam or the camera. Now, I do have the webcam still and you, you see that it's still on. And there's a reason for that. And I'm gonna show you that right, yeah. right after we get through our camera section. And you may be thinking, well, am I seeing twice? No, <laughs> I went ahead and did it. I invested in another camera. It's still the Canon M50. And what's interesting about this is given the demand of, um, of everybody jumping to webcams, everybody jumping to live streaming, everybody jumping to being online because of the situation that 2020 brought us, this webcam, I'm sorry, this camera was actually more expensive by like 125 bucks than when I bought this one last year. So that was the craziest thing. That's the first time I've seen an electronic, something like this actually go up in value, um, but supply and demand, I suppose. Now we do have this Rode um, NTG, baby, NTG, I'm probably wrong, but this is our new microphone. I used to have the Yeti. In fact, it's probably lying around here somewhere. You just have the Yeti, it's still a fantastic mic, but I decided to level up and do that. And it's connected here through this focus, right? So it feeds in the audio and spits it out. Now this bad boy right here, I am so excited about because it's just gonna help my, my workflow so much better. So this is actually a switcher and I'll give you the name right there so you can check it out. Everything is gonna be linked down below because it hopefully it really helps you out considering that I did a lot of the stuff that I uh, that I did was or got this together was through YouTube videos and sometimes they didn't link up hey what's this cord that you were using to connect this switcher to the MacBook and all that fun stuff so I'm gonna leave no stone unturned as you can see here I have a little bit of cleaning up to do when it comes to the wires and connection so something as simple as this little connector right here which I don't know what it is, but it's like a mini HDMI mini maybe feeds right through there to the to the um, to the switcher. Same thing over here with the other wet, the other camera, and then this down here that you're seeing hanging down is kind of like a dummy camera, a dummy um, battery that connects directly to the outlet back there. So it is always on. So that really helps out. That way I don't have to swap out batteries or anything like that. These are working as webcams and you're about to see that in action right now. Now what you're seeing on the screen right at the moment is the eCam software. This allows me to go live on Facebook, allows me to go, well, let me backtrack. 
this allows me to go live either on Facebook or on YouTube or on Twitter or wherever. But if I want to simulcast, so multicast and send it to multiple feeds, then I have to use the software called Re Restream. Now, again, I'll probably go into a little bit more detail on how to do all of this, but right now I just wanted to show you the cool functionality. What's super cool about the new setup is you see that this camera right here is right in front of my face. And now if I do, if I hit number two back here, that camera just turned on. Boom. So one, two, one, two. Now I do have some other cameras to add to this, but I'm ready to go with, and when it comes to these two cameras and this webcam, now we can get this webcam in the game as well. All we have to do is go over here and hit that right there and we are live from the webcam. Now this webcam is actually connected to Ecamm, which is the software that I was telling you about. And I just need to actually move it over here just so I can have a little bit, um, a little bit more control on that. Right now, I just wanna get this to work because as I mentioned, I've spent the last week trying to get everything to work. Something very cool that I'm really excited about as well though is when I make this connection, I hope you saw that, I, I made this connection right here. I connected my phone to the, um, just the normal charger. Check this out. It adds another source and now you're seeing the screen on my phone. How cool is that? So now whenever we're going through a mobile app or whenever we're doing something from the mobile standpoint, I'm able to share my screen with you directly. That is cool. So I'm very excited about that part and it's very easy to do. All I have to do is just um, unplug it and we're off to the races, but well, actually I'll just unplug it, it doesn't matter. And this little mount, this is gonna serve as my iPhone mount. So you're going to see the production go up outside of this video, because this video is not gonna be that, uh, there's not gonna be that, <laughs> that good, if you will, from a production level, but you're also gonna see the content rise. This is dangerous in my hands. As soon as I figure out all of the ins and outs, we're gonna be going live pretty much daily. We're gonna be dropping a video every single day, which we've been doing that for 2020. It's about to get real. I'm super excited. Thank you so much to allow all of this to happen. This is a fantastic thing for the channel. I'm very excited for 2021 and beyond, and it's only gonna get better. Thank you so much. I really do appreciate you.